the first subject is commercials that never made it to air. Uh, uh... Fungal foot problem. Uh... <laughs> Have you been injured in an accident that wasn't your fault? Of course you have, because that is the definition of an accident. <laughs> FIFA summer sofa sale, total office clear out. Bribe now, pay later. <laughs> Andrex, cos who wouldn't want to wipe their ass with a puppy? Carlsberg don't do your girlfriend, but I have. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> yeah, mate, I got some bad news about your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Why pay more for ratchet, trifling ass pilots when you can get to where you're going on EasyJet? A basic bitch will get you there. <laughs> We call it a happy meal. The cow we killed wasn't too chuffed, though. <laughs> <laughs> Waitrose, two for the price of three. <laughs> <laughs> we had debts all over the place, but Wonga took all those debts and put them in one simple loan. They also took a house. <laughs> Are your vet's bills getting on top of you? Then why not try Dognatas? <laughs> <laughs> Want to save money on biscuits? Easy. Give blood. <laughs> <laughs> from Laboratoire Garnier Paris. Cos if we said it was from Unit 5 of a Luton industrial estate, <laughs> you wouldn't buy it, would you? Struggling to sleep? Why not try ten cans of Stella? <laughs> Did you mistake your girlfriend for a burglar on Valentine's Day? <laughs> then you need to go to Specsavers. <laughs> I can't breathe! I can't breathe! The Lynx effect. <laughs> Uh, that one's accent is a bit more racist than that one's accent. There you go. Just compared the meerkats. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Lines you wouldn't hear in a sci-fi movie. Hi, is that NHS Direct? Yeah, um, a bit of a temperature and I've got an alien coming out of my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Two paracetamol, OK. <laughs> <laughs> mm. OK, Mr Zulu, set course for the fourth quadrant to the Orion Nebula. I think there's a Nando's there. <laughs> We're sorry to announce that there is a replacement beam down service this weekend between the ship and the planet Splug. <laughs> uh, you've got to imagine this in a Scottish accent. <laughs> This is our Independence Day! There you go. <laughs> they abducted us and took us to their spacecraft and then they explored our bodies with strange probes. I'll be honest, it was the best stag night I'd ever been on. <laughs> this man can now reach the full potential of his brain. Joey! Joey, wake up, you can tie your shoes. <laughs> Ream. <laughs> what the people don't know, Captain Kirk, is that when I do that V thing, that means in Vulcan, I've had your mum. <laughs> I think this time tunnel is broken. We have gone a thousand years into the future and Bruce Forsyth is still working. <laughs> Uh, 
If you take the red pill, you will enter the matrix. If you take the blue pill, you will have a boner for seven hours. <laughs> This is it. The machines are taking over. Hashtag apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, better look at it, mate. The problem is your uh, nano boosters are shot and your warp drive is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Our planet is dying. We seek a new home. Which of you is Phil? And which of you is Kirsty? <laughs> <laughs> the dinosaurs are killing everyone. Why do we keep reopening this park? Who keeps giving us public liability insurance? <laughs> <laughs> So the plan is you get in the time machine, go back in time, and cock block Hitler's dad. <laughs> <laughs> phone home. Phone in Joan. No, phone <laughs> home. <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear on a survival show. This is the most terrifying animal you can see in the wild. It has the body of posh spice. <laughs> of course, if you're on an expedition, you must always make sure you boil all the water. Now, this can really slow you down if you come to a lake. <laughs> <laughs> it's been 17 days since my last proper meal, and I am beach body ready, bitches. <laughs> Bear, are you related to George Foreman grills? <laughs> <laughs> I've not had a bath for days on end. And that's because Rob Beckett's dad is in there. <laughs> There is barely any water here, so we've been collecting our urine. But this morning, some of it was gone. And that is taking the piss. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I spent three days in the jungle with nothing to eat but raw caterpillars. I remember the moment I walked back into civilization. Whew, there are a few butterflies in my stomach, I can tell you. <laughs> When I was thirsty, I was forced to drink my own urine. I'm now hungry and dreading dinner. <laughs> and when you're in the wild, you've got to remember what you learn at Scouts. Don't tell anyone our little secret. Well, night is falling, it's raining and I'm in the shelter, but it still feels dangerous here. There are six teenagers staring at me and the bus doesn't arrive for 20 minutes. <laughs> if you suddenly see a bear extremely close to you, the best thing to do, stand stock still, pull down your trousers and just let it have sex with you. <laughs> <laughs> On the men's island, Derek's drinking coconut water because Derek's a hipster twat. <laughs> After three months totally alone on the island, it's amazing that John hasn't gone mad. Isn't that right, John? Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> so, I've managed to make a raft to escape the island by smashing up some boats. <laughs> The next topic is... Unlikely things to hear over at Tannoy. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to Waitrose, you smug, rich pricks. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. 
Would somebody please go to the power tools aisle and get me a drill? <laughs> if you see an unattended bag, please don't report it. Remember, you're in world of luggage. <laughs> Good evening, ladies. Top Shop will be closing in five minutes. Please make your way to the till, unless you're over 30, in which case, piss off to M&S, you ancient old hag. <laughs> <laughs> this is an announcement for the front desk of the swimming baths. Could doctor someone's done a shit in the pool? <laughs> Please come to reception. <laughs> Would the couple having sex in aisle two please stop? Spillage in aisle two. <laughs> the 1625 has unfortunately been cancelled and has been replaced by a replacement bus service. EasyJet would like to apologise <laughs> for all passengers who are going to Greece. <laughs> I only work in the post office for the crumpet. Watch this. Widow number two, please. <laughs> <laughs> in tonight's performance of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, the part of the child catcher will be played by a 1970s TV presenter. <laughs> Welcome to Sexist Airways. I'm just going to pop on the uh, seatbelt sign for a moment because we're swapping to a lady pilot. <laughs> <laughs> we are now coming into land in Russia where the local time is 1956. <laughs> Welcome aboard the one-way saga service special to Switzerland. Let's <laughs> <laughs> try and have a laugh. <laughs> Attention to the submarine crew of HMS Nando's. Be careful not to burn your eyes on the peri periscope. <laughs> Lost children can be found at the lost children tent. If they're not claimed by the end of the day, they will be destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Megabus. Things haven't worked out quite as well as you were hoping, have they? <laughs> Welcome to the sexist supermarket. <laughs> Check out number three. <laughs> Unlikely film trailers. A man. A man who only wants one thing. Strepsils. <laughs> In his toughest assignment yet, Peter Parker has to pick a peck of pickled peppercorn. <laughs> Drama. Intrigue, romance, gardening, spoons, all these and other words in Dictionary the Movie. <laughs> all your favourite administrators are back in Human Resources 2. This time it's personnel. <laughs> <laughs> when a hairpiece gets possessed by the devil, there'll be... Hell to pay. <laughs> <laughs> he loves sex, but he has no arms. Which position will he choose? Missionary impossible. <laughs> if you see one film this year, then you're probably a new parent. <laughs> It was a love story that crossed the species barrier. He was a man, she was a cow. <laughs> Coming soon, Beef Encounter. 
coming soon. A 3D film where you don't get bored halfway through and lift up the glasses just to see what the screen looks like without it. <laughs> Every Year I Love You More, starring Michael Jackson and Benjamin Button. <laughs> Coming soon, a story of premature ejaculation. <laughs> the Grand Budapest Hotel. Brilliant, The Times. Five stars, The Guardian. The beds weren't made. TripAdvisor. <laughs> Part man, part machine, part bird, part drum. It's Robo Bongo Cuckoo Cop. <laughs> Thank you very much. A group of Greeks try to get away with their money. Chicken run. <laughs> My Dad Pictures presents... Your man. I know him from something. Anyway, him. And a woman. I think she was in the air. Maybe it was house. She was definitely a doctor. <laughs> Join forces to fight. I know him. He's gone awful old looking, hasn't he? <laughs> it's the bromance of the year. Ed and David Miliband star in... What the fuck was the point of that, then? <laughs> Okay, next up it is. Things you wouldn't hear on the radio. Mime. <laughs> I'm sorry for that small pause just at the end of that record there. Only my shit took slightly longer than I expected. This is Top DJs of the 1970s. Prison radio has never sounded so good. <laughs> A hideous car crash has occurred at the end of the A19. It's called Doncaster. <laughs> Another shipping forecast issued by the Met Office at 2343 on Saturday the 8th. It's going to piss it down. <laughs> you're listening to BBC Wiltshire because your car radio has lost reception to what you were listening to. <laughs> and next up on the archers, there's an axe murderer on the loose. Not really, someone has an argument with their housekeeper. <laughs> Travel news. A coachload of origami enthusiasts has broken down on the M1 and they're all currently sat on the hard shoulder making paper models of cars. Traffic is described as stationary. <laughs> You're listening to Saga Radio. You're listening... <laughs> Little, Aldi, later, Tesco. This concludes the shopping forecast. <laughs> Get in! Have you been injured at work? Maybe you should turn the radio off and concentrate properly on what you're doing. <laughs> but you're dead. We're all dead. We've all been dead from the beginning. You've been listening to the final ever episode of The Archers. <laughs> Next up on Gardener's Question Time, I'll be trying not to laugh like a schoolboy when a woman phones in with a problem about her box hedge. <laughs> this is local radio, it's 4am and no one's listening. Let's play Say Something Racist Roulette. <laughs> <laughs> Due to tomorrow's BBC strike, tomorrow's Today programme will be today's Today programme, but called Yesterday. <laughs> Some 
sometimes when you listen to the radio, there's a there's a tune that you can't get out of your head. It sort of <laughs> plays again and again and again. It sort of gets faster and faster <laughs> and faster. And finally it comes on. <laughs> Unlikely greeting cards. Roses are red, violets are blue. Sorry, you're dead. What can you do? <laughs> sorry you're leaving. And sorry to break it to you in such a cowardly fashion. <laughs> Happy Father's Day, whoever you are, wherever you are. Roses are red, violets are red, the greenhouse is red. I think I'm bleeding to death. <laughs> At this difficult time, I'm thinking of you, wearing suspenders and a mask. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this and thought of you, blank inside. <laughs> My feelings can't be put into words, although the judge did describe them as inappropriate. <laughs> that was a scrape. Congratulations on your circumcision. <laughs> Congratulations, you did it, and we'll prove it, the Crown Prosecution Service. <laughs> It's a girl, not a woman, which is why you're going to prison. <laughs> With deepest sympathies for the loss of your grandmother, slash happy housewarming. <laughs> <laughs> You've passed away. <laughs> 21 years, and this time you'll probably die in prison. To our darling son, on your 21st birthday, now get the fuck out of our house. <laughs> Please help me, I'm trapped inside a North Korean card factory. <laughs> <laughs> also, Iron Man says happy fourth birthday. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. When you go down on me, please don't chew. <laughs> OK, the next topic is things you wouldn't hear on a science documentary. The dinosaurs were wiped out by a giant asteroid. Silly them for all standing in the same place. <laughs> anything other than Bunsen? <laughs> <laughs> he named the star after himself and now we find ourselves looking at Arthur Cockmonster III. <laughs> <laughs> so, it glows in the dark and it has a half-life of a thousand years. Frankly, I've never done a poo like it. <laughs> On today's show, we'll be talking about the Jurassic period, where only dinosaurs and Bruce Forsyth roam the Earth. <laughs> <laughs> He's old, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> For Sarah Palin, it's conclusive proof that man and dinosaur existed together. For everybody else, the Flintstones is just a cartoon. <laughs> Next, biology. Why is that gorilla so sexy? <laughs> <laughs> Let the proton see the electron. <laughs> Scientists in Loughborough found the formula to make the perfect cup of tea, which is quite controversial as the grant was for AIDS research. <laughs> Ah. 
You've been watching me, Richard Dawkins. Good night and God bless. <laughs> And the um, problem with cocaine is it's well Moorish. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could ask a proper scientist about this, or we could ask Daro Breen. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name's Daro Breen. <laughs> and to try and bring science to the masses, I'm going to appear in a programme with Stephen Hawking <laughs> wearing a ridiculous hat. <laughs> just, 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 just enough with the, just, you know. <laughs> I love that hat, by the way. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dora Breen. <laughs> and I've got a massive head and a massive brain. But all I get to do in this bit is just press a little button. <laughs> <laughs> Mr O'Brien, I award you a PhD. <laughs> <laughs> Phenomenal head, Dara. <laughs> I would just like to say that I think Dara O'Brien's a legend. <laughs> I work with Dara O'Brien. <laughs> and today, my experiment is to turn this joke into a P45. <laughs> Unlikely things for a sports commentator to say. Embarrassing, humiliating, bringing shame on the sport. Welcome to Wimbledon Today with me, Claire Balding. <laughs> And it all comes to this. After years of training and preparation, I'm commentating on the poxy water polo. <laughs> <laughs> Mo Farah has apologised for his association with substances that the British public regard as abhorrent and has said he will never advertise corn again. <laughs> to the golf, where Tiger Woods apparently travels with two inflatable sex dolls now, in case he gets a hole in one. <laughs> <laughs> and he's found a chocolate biscuit down the back of the sofa, but he's not going to celebrate because it's his old club. <laughs> <laughs> and he's resting two balls on the cushion now, which is why he won't be allowed back into Ike. <laughs> And he pops the cork and he's spraying everyone with champagne. Welcome to the first Conservative budget since 1996. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are at the Crucible, all burning to death! <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the speed skating, and now crack cocaine curling! <laughs> The American and the Russian are out in front, and here comes the Finn. Yes, they're going to swim a lot faster now. The shark is chasing them. <laughs> <laughs> and so they've brought up a curtain around the horse that fell earlier. But no, we've got good news. He's moved to a farm in the countryside. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here we are at the Rugby League. It's tough, man. It's better than Rugby Union. And at the same time, ever so slightly more gay. <laughs> <laughs> and this decision's going to a touch judge. And, yes, it's sexual harassment. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is his third attempt with a bar at this height. Nope. Still can't get served. <laughs> <laughs> and here come the two Red Bulls, which is what you'll need to keep yourself awake during Formula One. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joined here by Balding, or Alan Shearer, as he likes to be known. <laughs> Raikkonen now on super soft, the Viagra simply not working. <laughs> ah. 
And if you want to find out what this function key on the keyboard does, join us after the break on F1. <laughs> And after the break, join me, Claire Balding, presenting everything. I present everything now. Everything is mine. <laughs> everything. <laughs> OK. The next topic is unlikely things to hear on a gardening programme. <laughs> There's something about eating food that's come from your own garden. This is quite a hearty stew I've made out of a squirrel I shot with an air rifle. <laughs> <laughs> Well, to answer your question, I tend to keep mine on a hose reel. But then, I'm very lucky down there. <laughs> These pine trees smell suspiciously of air freshener. <laughs> My advice would be don't splash out on expensive gnomes. Do what I do and just simply varnish some small children I found playing in the park. <laughs> I call this my Blue Peter garden because it's the first place that I blew Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, the trick is to get your pitchfork right through it before you take it and throw it back over the fence. <laughs> well, we've had a letter from Mrs Smith of Epsom who's asked us to identify something that she has found in her garden. Well, Mrs Smith? That's a dog turd. <laughs> um, I've got a letter here from Maureen in Doncaster who's asking a question about herbs. Um, in response to your letter, Maureen, I would recommend about £200 for an ounce. And if it's really good shit, £300. <laughs> well, that is the wheelbarrow. And tomorrow, I'll show you another sexual position. <laughs> It's uh, quite simple to take up an old patio. All you do is li just leave it. <laughs> not talk about it ever again. I woke up in a field of aubergines the other day, and I thought none of these baby seals have faces. <laughs> Welcome to the UKIP garden. Sod the lawns, let's concentrate on them borders. <laughs> <laughs> so, you could use a lawnmower or a strimmer, although I would recommend waxing. <laughs> Take the shovel, force it right down like that, save your fortune in vet's fees having it put down professionally. <laughs> Attacked by pineapples! <laughs> I like to plant my herbs in alphabetical order. People say to me, How do you find the time? I said, It's there next to the sage! <laughs> 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 <laughs>